Hi guys, welcome back. I literally just finished doing this makeup on myself and I think it's going to be my new go-to everyday makeup because I'm so in love with how my skin looks. It is so flawless and creamy and natural. This is the perfect everyday glam makeup look. Looks perfect in any light. I'm working with Smashbox in this video just so that you know. This is the Studio Skin Foundation. I've been using it for the past few months. It's honestly amazing. I mean, you can see it on my face right now. So it's a 15 hour wear foundation and it makes your skin look flawless in any light. Beautiful in any photo. So it's also a really good wedding makeup look. That just came to me. Anyway, enjoy it and keep watching. First product I'm going to take from Smashbox is the Photo Finish Primer. This is a classic. It's the number one selling primer in the United States. This one blurs your imperfections, fills in the pores, and makes a perfect base for your makeup. So really flawless skin. And I actually like this one because you can see results like immediately as soon as you put it on. Even if you want to just wear this on your no makeup days, it still smooths out your skin. It feels very satiny on the skin and that means that I don't get like patchiness when I'm blending in my foundation, which is a huge issue for me on parts of my cheeks for some reason. Sometimes foundation like doesn't stick there, so one of these silky primers really helps to like ensure that doesn't happen. There have been so many amazing foundations come out recently. This is absolutely one of my favorites. And that's not just because I'm doing this video with Smashbox. It's the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. I use number 2.3 today, just because I've got some fake tan on. Can you see? If you didn't know, Smashbox is actually a photography studio as well as a world-renowned makeup brand. And they really know lighting. No matter what type of light you're in, these products have been tested to last 15 hours on the skin. I'm just going to put it directly in my beauty blender, which is probably a no-no, but... I like to start at the center of my face, where I need most coverage, and around my chin and then jawline. It's a really thin foundation, so it's not cakey. I first tried this product um, when I was in Canada, like, two months ago. Actually, no, it must have been a month ago now. And it was so hot there, I did not expect Canada to be that hot, but it was like 35 degrees Celsius. And I was trialing this foundation to see how I liked it first. Wore it every day of my holiday, every day. And it lasts so well in the heat, like no matter what I'm doing. Now the thing is, what I find with this, you kind of got a lot of time to play around with it, like to move it around, it doesn't like set super fast. So I can like blend it out, I can layer it to build up the coverage and all of that. Sometimes with foundations, like if I'm trying to layer it, it will like start taking off foundation. It doesn't happen with this one, but it definitely does set and become like stuck there for all day. <laughs> now believe it or not, this foundation is going to look consistent in any lighting. That's the way it's been designed. Whether you're like shopping in those ugly supermarket lighting or you're in the bathroom where it's nice lighting, office lighting, outside, Oh, it looks good. I'm gonna do a very light brow look. This is the Dressed Up Brow Pencil from Sigma. This is another Smashbox product that I find interesting. It's the Brow Tech Shaping Powder. And it's literally a powder with what looks like a liquid, like a liner thingy, but it's actually powder. Let me zoom you in so you can see. Essence Make Me Brow. Just to set those babies. Foundation is starting to get quite tacky now, like if you touch your skin. So it's starting to set. I'm going to do a very nude eye, neutral eye look. This is the Cool Spectrum from Zoeva. I'm just going to use, wait, which one's these and this. Putting the white shadow under my brow bone. Then I'm gonna leave the lid naked. Got a little Napoleon gel eyeliner in towel. Just doing a very small little flick.
I'm going to use the Film Noir Mascara from Hourglass. It's actually a jolly good mascara. Now I'm going to use the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer. This one has no settling, creasing, caking or streaking on the skin because it's a hydrating formula that's very flexible so underneath the eye it won't cake and all of that kind of stuff. It's medium to full buildable coverage. This one is sweat and transfer resistant and blurs your imperfections. P.S. This is in the shade Light Neutral. Then I've got the next shade up, Light Medium. I'm just going to use it to fix this annoying little scar I've got here. Here. Not a hickey guys, it was a pimple, which is weird. Someone asked me or mentioned in the comments, is that a hickey on her neck? It's like, what, did a elf come and give me a hickey? No. I'm gonna take the RMS Beauty Highlighter in Living Luminizer. Oh, that's nice. I'm going to pop some lashes on too, just so that my lashes look perfectly formed. I'm going to quickly take my Burberry contour stick. Blend it in. For lips, I'm going to take Whirl Lip Liner. For lipstick, I've got this brand new lipstick from La Prairie. It's called Tawny. That feels like it's expensive. And then a kind of matching lip gloss. This is Coco lip gloss. Damn, that feels amazing. <sighs> look at this makeup look! Look at my skin! Look at that skin. I'm just a sucker for a beautiful foundation. I've got glitter everywhere because I used glitter in a tutorial like two days ago. I'm gonna try to take a selfie. Mmm. Yeah, it looks so good. Amazing in photos. Wow. Well guys, that's it for me. I hope that you enjoyed this video that I made with Smashbox. And let me know if you tried this look. And let me know if you tried the foundation as well. I really, really recommend it. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you very soon.